Welcome to G2. Hi, we're here for our VAC testing. Great. I'll uh, get Rebecca and we'll get you going. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Prior to your VO2 test, you will be given instructions about how to perform the test and a review of the types of measurements we will obtain with the test. VO2, also called oxygen consumption, is considered to be a universal measure of aerobic fitness. No other measurement of exercise capacity is as precise or as reproducible as directly measured oxygen uptake. Okay, so Paul has brought his own seat and his own pedals. Uh, on this bike, we can pretty much adjust it exactly according to his settings on his own bike on the road. And that's what we really want to duplicate uh, at this point. Also, since he's a triathlete, um, I, uh, you know, we put the uh, arrow bars on for him, so he's going to be in the exact position that he would be on his tri bike. Okay, the nice thing about this bike too, and what we do at this facility, is that we can actually adjust the uh, the length of the cranks. Uh, since Paul is already using a 172 and a half, which is already on this bike, we're going to just keep this uh, crank set that is on here. But we do have an adjustable crank set specific for this bike. So if we do get women in here that are riding a 165 length, why should we test with a standardized 170 or 175 crank that's on most economers that uh, people test with at most facilities? All right, so Paul is all ready for his uh, test. We just set him completely up like the, uh, the measurements that he has on his uh, road bike, and he feels very comfortable the way he's sitting right now. So we're going to set him up for his VO2 uh, testing uh, as we speak. There you go. So this is the headpiece that we use. There's two ways we can do VO2 testing. We can either do it with a mask or we're using it with a, um, a mouthpiece. Uh, the mask, the uh, problem with the mask we sometimes have is, is uh, we can have leakage. And if we have leakage, the whole test is going to be inaccurate. So we prefer to use the mouthpiece when we're seriously uh, testing uh, athletes. I will keep your RPMs for what you normally write. So, you know, if you're like at 80 RPMs, you can read them right there in front of you. Good. The lactate threshold, also sometimes called the anaerobic threshold, is the point at which the metabolic demands of exercise begin to exceed oxygen delivery to working muscles. This is another important measurement of fitness and can be improved with athletic training to reach a point close to the VO2 max. A complete fitness assessment provided by G2 Health staff will provide you with highly accurate data and customized training programs to help you take your fitness and performance to the next level. The numbers collected from your VO2 test will determine your own specific target heart rate and power wattage zones. This is far superior to relying on approximate formulas to calculate these zones. The team at G2 Health will help you look, feel, and be your best.